Hello, this is KR Brickbot, and I think it's a good time to bring out an eagle review. Hello, Carbot Eagle Hider. So, the box is a similar style as the other Season 11 Samba Carbots, with a similar shaped wordmark logo, but it doesn't have the arrows since this is not a cross wrapping toy. It has some primary blue colors on its jungle background here, and the white schematic blueprint style inner background here. Renders of the robot mode and the eagle mode, which really does not look like the toy. Q pack, bottom textures. HCB 110R, as in red. Left side, animal mode, arrow to robot mode. Exact same on the other side. Top side, the different renders for the robot and eagle. It will vary. November of 2021 stamped right on there. The back's pretty plain, just having the jungle and grid work blended graphic styles with the blue and eagle hider here and the red and bear hider here sold separately. It's a bald eagle. A sight that is surely very exotic and not existent in Asian territories. The awesome American eagle. Yeah, it's mostly brown with a bit of that off-white, like all those painted feathers, that's all paint here, and the paint, the feather of the neck, and the sculpted head. As you can see, that is a very, somewhat cartoony-like eagle head, like with a very long lip, and the white painted eyes and the black pupils. Gets a little more character than just dead solid eyes or realistic animal eyes. And a separate CG beast model that hardly resembles the toy sculpting. It might not be the most accurate, <laughs> But it is a more accurate eagle head than a peregrine falcon head painted white like an eagle. And if we take a look at the underside and up, oh, there's the robot arms just right there. They just splayed out, they just splayed out and weakly tapped into the wings. For a bot named Eagle Hider, he's not hiding his arms very well. Maybe you could just uh, fold the arms down so that looks slightly better facing forward, but uh, from the top, then you just have visible robot arms sticking from the back, so uh, kind of a no-win unless you just look at it from different angles and adjusting according to such. And the uh, eagle flapping, yeah, you're gonna have to disconnect these and then flap it up a little bit, so it's not the most tactile eagle flapping wing feature. And the pseudo-ego Transformers bird mold has it beat in terms of the arm storage. They're still visible arms, but at least they're tucked to the side and really versatile wings. But I guess I do like what he did with the back area. Like the, it was intuitive how the, the legs transformed, they just split and then they fused and they formed the entire back section of the eagle rump. So that it has no underhanging kibble, except for those arms and the obvious robot pelvic area right in the middle. 
But other than that, it is pretty clean how they engineered this backside. Unlike, say, obviously humanoid robot legs that are just doing a big squat. I guess the lower leg of the eagles are kinda accurate. I don't know, the feathers might look a little fat here. I guess the sculpting looks a little fat and also the screw holes on the outside. Due to the necessity of how these really nice clicky ratchets mount. And then you have comically oversized eagle feet. I mean, those are some really long talons and really long heels. Just very obviously due to the reason of balance. Yeah, you see, you know, this balances pretty well, except straight ahead. Yeah, if these were realistically small, this thing would just keep toppling over and kids don't want that. Oh, and weapon storage. This scabbard has two 5mm holes, which goes into these 5mm holes on the bottom. With some uh, mechanical wiring in there, that's pretty nice touch. So yeah, I suppose he can perch on his own sword and scabbard. Yeah, kind of kind of looks like he's just carrying this thing around. Yeah, it's kind of a, just a tacked on weapon storage as with most modern Transformers, but it's, this is kind of a cute way to do it, I guess. Breaking the sculpt for unintended articulation. Now, what would Eagle Hider's size be? Well, real bald eagles are half the size of humans, and all of the other beast-style carbots thus far were pretty large animals. Well, they just went with, screw it, he's a giant eagle. This is pretty accurate, he's just big as the other carbots. Giant eagle. But because it's, he's an eagle and not a robot, it's, this is still a disguise in the sky. As long as nobody looks up in the sky against their nature to see a giant eagle in the sky. Transformation. Ratchet legs down, split his legs, and turn them around. Double turn around. And the torso basically extends on this yellow prominent hinge below the eagle neck. Sculpted robotic details. Flip this around and it's easy to forget to clip these in because this hinge right here behind the eagle neck is pretty strong on its own so if you don't clip that in it still holds in pretty well. Yeah but that clicks. Arm down and untab arm down. That's a very easy transformation. It sure looks like an eagle transformer, with the primary brown and the secondary grays and the other primary red and yellow, and a bit of off-white from the eagle feathers. I guess the main robot bits are interesting, I think the, the inside of his legs, they do have a little bit of a silver curved plumage style detailing in them. Although there are some unsightly screws and clips on there because they're the insides. The pelvic area has some mechanical detailing there, and with the, as with the thighs, that has the feathery-like midriff in there. The shoulder area has some regal pauldron-like extending shoulders with a carbot symbol painted on here. This one a little more sloppily than this one. Some pretty thin arms, those are some pretty skinny upper arms. And the lower arm forearms are mechanically feather styled as with the hands like a, a little robot hand five finger clawed hand and encasing a circle with some talons on there though the shoulders might be overshadowed by the big eagle wings and they are the hollow underside but they do make some effort to make the hollow underside a bit more appealing like some more details on these supporting struts as on the hollow insides here and especially on the outer tips with some silver painted feather details, mechanical featheries. Still has some tabs and pins on there, but what can you do? The head is suitably avian styled, like with the, his side and the silver crest and the beak-like faceplate that kind of makes it look avian, maybe a little bit owl-like. It works with the red plastic and the silver paint and the solid yellow that could look like it was meant for light piping if this was transparent, but it's not. And if you look at it straight forward, the feather plumes do kind of go over his faceplate, which is kind of makes it hard to make out 
from this angle, so you have to do it at a slightly downward angle, but not too downward, or else you see the hollow gap in there. The eagle head segmented into two halves is a look, like the main eagle head looking directly down, with some molded plastic feathers on there, and the painted area, which does make the feathers stand out more on the painted area than the sculpted area. The fair sculpted area. And a hinge right in there with a little bit of design to make it look a bit more intentional, though I guess having some paint on the center circle there would make it look more interesting, like a little energy core or a little chest blaster. His accessory is this sordid scabbard. Yeah, it's a nice plastic scabbard, a big weighty one with a screw on the unappealing side. Yeah, but that goes in either of his 5mm whole thighs that stick out rather prominently. So yeah, that's, that's a neat look. An eagle with a sword. And then you unsheath this sword. Hmm, it's looking a little thin. It uh, feels a little thin and soft. This is like Hasbro quality plastic cheaping out. I suppose this softer plastic does work well with soft plastic 5mm holes, but plugging it into ABS hard solid plastic with this thing, this soft thing that could easily scratch up the really soft handle? Well, I'm going to do it right now on camera to see how much of this gets damaged when you plug it in all the way. Ew! Yep, it will go straight in the hand. I guess it's soft plastic because this is a pointy sword, but really, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed this is soft on when everything else here is so solid. Yep. Yep, there's a bit of frictioning in and, in, in and out here. Yeah, I can always get another sword. While this one just keeps getting worn down. And, um, I don't know, this might look a uh, slightly dinky for a eagle bot this big. I guess Eagle Hider also has a secondary gimmick. These tabs here, they're meant to go into here, so you can just double fold them over to give him a draped cape look, I guess. Yeah, it kind of looks like a cape, kind of looks like some shoulder cloth. Of course, that does restrict the arm movement. And uh, you can also do this, I guess, to look at this angle, kind of looks like a eagle shield. Yeah, that is a weird way to mount the uh, feathers. It's a pretty clean back, though. Yeah, only a few bit of robot butt on the back. And uh, these parts. But yeah, but that is a really weird way. I mean, like, see the mounting struts here? They're like, they're fused onto the shoulder like this. I mean, why is it like this? I mean, I would... Like for it to go, like, you know, just folding all the way back, like this. Yeah, but then you just move the shoulder joints along. I mean, that is a very unusual design choice. Is that for budgeting? I mean, look at this. I mean, what kind of look is this? Really, a uh, really detached eagle wing there. Articulation. Head is at a full 360. Three clicks at a 90 degree. Of course, it can't go back further because of eagle wings. Or like, unless you do it like this. I guess that's why they mounted it like this, weirdly. Distressingly tight upper shoulders. I mean, look, it's slightly moving the shoulder out of the way. This one's slightly less tight, but still tight. Also, pretty tight elbows that go more than a 90, thanks to those really skinny arms. There's a stopper here, so you don't have an unnatural elbow bend. Full wrist swivel. Not quite the forward sword wrist, but I, uh, wrist swivel is better than none. Three ratchet forward. Three ratchet back. The full spread. Full thigh swivel, a knee that goes more than 90, but also breaks the sculpt with one of those back pivot mounted knees. 
And the feet. I don't know, I guess the back heels kind of fold in for reasons. And I guess you could have an outward ankle tilt through the transformation. Those are clicky ratchets. And uh, I guess a side to side ankle pivot. Yeah, but no inwards. It was interesting to see this as an outlier in the new Samba toy line when everything else was going for a centralized cross swapping gimmick. This here is just continuing the Beast War style Carbot trend that I thought would only be introduced with cinematic movies. But here is a completely organic Beast Bot in just a regular season. I guess it kind of thematically fits in with Samba, like, but is he a good Eagle Transformer? <laughs> Cause there might be less of an incentive to get Eagle Hider when we already have a bird or eagle transformer both in the distant past and recent past. Though Eagle Hider might be a bigger and sturdily built bot considering its target audience. The design is just inherently odd and just oddly counterintuitive with the butterfly joints and choice of material. And yeah, and the balance issues sometimes with like with unconventional legs as these. So, of course, with the posability and size, I mean, the Air Razor mold done as an eagle is still better. But I guess the large size is also reminiscent of the old Beast Wars toys in their very toyetic and gimmicky glory, and especially the Ultra Size class. Yeah, so I guess this kind of feels like a modern Ultra Class Beast Wars toy, which you could add to. But if it's not for the large size appeal, it might not be easy to recommend Eagle Hider over the Skywarp or Silverbolt. And I'm wondering if I could customize this into a deluxe size Carbot Eagle Hider. However, the other beast released alongside Eagle Hider might be a little more appealing. 